Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop, continuing on our bumblefuckery and milking the ever-living schmoo out of this here two-pump chump the milfucky 12,000 pissy she'll put out. Uh, I don't think this pecs will suffer that much, the shark of a bite fittings and the, uh, what you call it, pecs, pecs tubing, tomb of a boobing. I'll go ahead and hit that greasy old well-lubricated bell end in order to uh, something something and go ahead and uh, down in the doobly-doo. What do you think's going to survive? The pecs or the pump? And maybe the fitting will blow off. Hit me right in the eye. You can't fool me twice, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. You get that shit in your hair but once. One time. Yeah, so this, this is plastic plumbing. Uh, somebody in the uh, hydrocarbon industry, uh, plastics, decided that this extruded tubing would be just as good as copper. I disagree. However, I run my airlines out of this stuff. It's fantastical. There were some questions in my mind. Water ingress. A lot of plastics tend to uptake water and swell. You'll notice if you're an engineer and you ever specked out some sort of plastic bushing instead of an oil light bronze bearing. You get it close to the waterfront or you get it down in Florida or something like that and she seizes up right cock stiff. You got to spend millions of doll hairs flying back and forth just to find the X and it turns out the plastic swelled. However, in this case, for air, it doesn't matter, and it's also designed to be next to water, so not a big deal. Now, as far as uh, pressure cycling and so forth, this has a rating on it for hot water, and it gets derated the hotter the water it is. That's, of course, because the uh, molecules loosen up, they soften up. They're plastic, they're uh, thermoplastic. So, what else was I going to say? That's just about it. The... Uh, <laughs> The fittings here, these shark bite fittings, kind of look more like a remora's mouth, but that bites down onto the OD of the tube, seals it up right good and proper. And then we just got uh, a couple thousand doll hairs worth of fittings here in order to test her out. We have the device under test in a bad habit and a frankfurter stand in for a turd herder's large, meaty, a digit. These are rated at say a hundred ish it may surprise you to find out how much pressure these will actually take now this is the most pressure they will ever take because we are under ideal conditions they have not been in service there has no been uptake of water speak english once in a while i'm gonna have to take that on there we use a little uh Teflon tape in order to uh, stimulate real world conditions. Thing is about the pressure, it makes the uh, makes the tube expand. It should bite harder into that shark bite. I believe it's the tube of a boob itself which will blow, not the fitting. But I've been wrong before. The trouble is getting the timing right so that I can hit the high speed. We're just gonna cycle this up. And I am slowly backing away. There's gonna be a lot of energy in there because there's a lot of air. Air acts as a spring. We got some leakage. Okay. Holy old fuck, boys, wonders never crease. It's like the boys knew what they were doing. And rather than explosively deconflagrate, we just blew a seal. Nah, no, that's just frost on my mustache. You see what's happening here? Rather than have the tube explode, we just let go of some of that pressure out of the end of the fitting. That's a pretty clever failure mode. You see that? Now it'll hold. It's still holding 500, but anything over that. You ever been on a building site, Timmy? You know. The tubes get beat right to shit. So we're going to go ahead 
and give this a stress riser in the, uh, the hoop analysis. This is the weakest, that, that hoop is the weakest area. And you ever notice the bigger the pipe, the thicker the wall? Not for no reason. It's beyond the scope of a YouTube video to do uh, hoop stress analysis, but maybe somebody like uh, Grady Hillhouse will do it for you. Ooey kablooey! Now that, my friend, is a fantastic result. I cycled it the first time and it still leaked off here despite having over half of the meat cut straight through around the hoop. Then when I cycled it again, it blew out the sidewall. So that is quite a bit more skookum that I give it credit for. It's still not rodent proof. And as far as aging, heat cycling, pressure cycling, aging, eh, still some it is obviously built into the code that this is good enough i'm sure that people who live in western europe say germany's and austria's would absolutely are absolutely clutching their pearls that they would we would use these for hot water in our domiciles but here in north america we get a different attitude i guess is that uh, most people are very mobile and they live in a house but 10 years, five years, and then it's on to the next. That makes this somebody else's headache. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep your decadent voice.